seasons as Blair Waldorf in the hit show Gossip Girl, and since then she starred in movies, Broadway, and released her own album, Busy Lady. Now she's back on TV, starring in the time-traveling comedy Making History. Take a look. Please welcome Leighton Meester. It's great. It's How so, are you? I'm doing fine. It's so nice to meet you. So nice to meet you, too. Thank you for having me. Oh, it's, it, it's a pleasure. So I, I texted my daughter, Charlotte. Uh, we, were, we were in the middle of a text, and I, I told her that you were on the show, and a series of OMGs showed up <laughs> on my phone. So That's you have hilarious. a lot of fans, including my daughter, Charlotte. How old is she? She is 14. All right. Yeah. That's a good age. That's the right it is a good age. Now, congratulations, first of all, on Gossip Girl. It's such an iconic show. Uh, and you must get recognized all the time for that, I would imagine. I do. I do. Just backstage, I was talking to a couple of younger women, 9 and 12, and I was like, you know that show? <laughs> They're women. Um, and they, th I was like, you know you were two when Gossip Girl came out. Like, that's so weird to think, but it's been a decade. It doesn't feel like it. I haven't aged. <laughs> yeah, you look amazing. <laughs> so, Gossip Girl, among things it was known for was this over-the-top wardrobe. Do you miss that wardrobe? Um, I can't say I do. I do love... Oh, nice. <laughs> it's a lot of me. Um, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of, like, fittings and high heels like fittings? and the blizzards. No. Do you? No, but some people really <laughs> love that part of show business. They yeah. love the fittings. I, I can't stand that. Part. I wish I did because it's a big part of it. Sure. I mean, it, it's not a, a, the most important thing, but it is like something that you come across a lot. And I wish like, like doing laundry or like grocery shopping, I can't compare it's like glamorous fittings, but it's like you have to, I guess, find a way to have fun with it. But I don't like I don't, like, walking out, they were telling me there were steps, and I was like, where? I need to know, because high heels are just not I my friend. I can't even imagine. We can switch. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to try? You know, those are be beautiful shoes. I can't imagine how you walk in those. I, mean, I don't know. It, see, I've had, I've had to learn this, because as a, as a married man who has three daughters, it's taken me four experiences with women in real time to finally understand being a woman is probably the hardest thing in the world. Like, it just, it's hard yeah. to, it's so, there's so much. It's true, it's true. So, now your, your show, Making History, is, it takes place in the 1700s. Yes. And you, you, you must have some really wild wardrobe choices on that show. Yeah, so it's a time travel comedy. We're not very accurate as far as our <laughs> time travel. But we, we do it in a duffel bag. Our duffel bag is our time machine. Um, <laughs> it's very uh, scientific. Um, but yeah, so I, I play Deborah. She's from the 1700s, colonial Massachusetts, and she wears the traditional colonial garb. And uh, I started off being like, I want to do this right. Let's wear a corset. Day three, can we get out of the corset? Can we like find a way not to wear a corset? Um, because I'm like riding horses and throwing axes and shooting muskets and cannons and you do even all just of that breathing. Stuff. Like I couldn't do that. Like I, I was like, I can't even think to say my lines. So I this. think I know what a corset's for, but in your definition, what is a corset supposed to do? It, it's supposed to torture <laughs> you. <laughs> no, it's, it's supposed to, essentially, like, the idea, I think, is that it's supposed to make you look smaller in the waist. It was so it's like, like old-fashioned Spanx. It is just that. And they also had, like, just layer upon layer. Like, I don't think that they wore underwear. I don't think that they wore, they, they didn't wear bras. They wore a thing called a bum roll. A what? It's uh, exactly what it sounds like. It's, a bum roll? It's uh, like a giant, stuffed, <laughs> uncomfortable thing that you put on your bum. And it's like, it creates this hourglass sort of bell. Um, oh. It's not cute. No, and no, I, I got it. I, there's so many jokes right now that I could... <laughs> Do, do you I have a joke traffic jam in my head right now. <laughs> I what about bum roll? Hold on for dear I life. Hope, I hope you appreciate the level of restraint I just employed. <laughs> there was just a complete 
implosion in my brain because of all of the jokes that could have happened. When you mentioned bum roll and what it's supposed to do, can you only imagine what I was about to say? Something about baked goods. That's where my mind goes. Mine was not about baked goods. Okay. Okay. That's fair. Layton, I have to tell you, I think you're terrific. You're welcome here anytime. Thank you. It's Thank really you nice so to meet much. you. It's Thank great. you so, so much. Making History premiere Sunday, Mark Stick on Fox. We'll be right back.